Maria here. Welcome to my channel and today I'm going to be doing the one fragrance for each month of the year tag and I'm super excited to be tagged and the person that tagged me is Barry from Sensualize. Uh, I'm going to leave his information linked down below. He's an awesome guy, has great recommendations for men's uh, scents primarily. Uh, so feel free to go check him out. And I'm not quite sure who initiated or started this tag. If I figure it out, I'll put that link down below as well. If you happen to know who it is and I don't link it, please let me know and I will link it. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so let's get started. Before I get going though, I want to just encourage you, if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Just go ahead and subscribe. Just make it happen. Anyway, if you'd like to subscribe, I'd love to have you join our weird and wonderful family. And also, please feel free to leave comments down below. I love chatting with you guys, as I say in every video, but it's true. So please feel free to leave your comments, suggestions, all that good stuff, and let's get going. Starting off in January. Now, I live in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, which happens to be slightly north of central Alberta. So it gets pretty cold here. So in January, we oftentimes will dip below minus 30 degrees Celsius, Celsius, which I believe is minus 22 Fahrenheit for all of you in Fahrenheit language. Uh, so pretty cold. Sometimes it'll get below that. Uh, so I want a scent that's going to warm me up and make me feel all cozy. So I've chosen Montel's Intense Cafe. Now this one, uh, this one for me, uh, just makes me feel cozy. It's basically rose, coffee, vanilla. To me, I get a hint of an oud smell, although it doesn't say that there's an oud note in there. Uh, but yeah, it's just this rich coffee. It's like a creamy, delicious coffee, creamy, sweetened coffee with rose and then like a, a slight bit of an oud or a wood in there. I just love it. I find it extremely comforting. And so this is going to be the January scent that I'll be rocking. This thing, this thing is getting in my, hey, it's a toy. <laughs> That's kind of fun. Anyway, uh, yeah, Montel Intense Cafe. I just love this scent. I think it's really rich, lasts forever. Uh, I love the rose. I love that coffee, that creamy, sweet coffee. Mmm, very comforting. The next month is February, and I chose Alien. Now this one, uh, to me, well, first of all, uh, I, you know what? This was completely unintentional. I, I picked it, I just arbitrarily went, I think Alien's great for February. But February is the month that I was born, and the stone is purple, it's amethyst. Uh, so I think that this one is a great choice for February. And this one, to me, suits my personality because I'm a little bit zany. May I say even a bit alien-esque. Um, so this is uh, uh, kind of wacky, kind of bold, kind of out there. So is this fragrance. So this one, this one to me is super addictive. Uh, you get jasper, jasmine, amber. It's just warm. It's got woods in it. It's, it's bold, it's sexy, it's bright, and it's a bit of a, a rejuvenator for me. So for me, in kind of that dead part of winter when I'm just yearning for spring to just come forth, to me, uh, this one is perfect for that. Yeah, my little gemstone, my little February gemstone. The next scent uh, for March is gonna be Mon Guerlain. Now, I've talked about this one lots. The reason why I picked it was because usually in March, I'm starting to want spring decor and spring this and spring that, even though in Canada, it's still quite cold out. Uh, but I'm having that longing towards spring. And when I think spring uh, and kind of like, yeah, for whatever reason in spring, I put out purple lavender-y type stuff. So this one has that note of lavender, which I really love. This is still a very comforting scent, so it works great uh, in the cooler March weather for us. Oh, I like, I just dream of, like, don't get me wrong. I love Edmonton. I don't have a plan to move anytime soon. I'm glad I'm here. Uh, I love the city. 
but I would love to live in a place like somewhere in England maybe where uh, or, or France where the weather in March all the everything starts to bloom already in March I just think that would be incredible. So I can't get it naturally. It, um, it's still too cold for that here. So I get it in my fragrance and I get it in my decor. Now for April, I've chose Fleur de Femme by La Rive. And this is a dupe for Poison Girl. I do have a decant of Poison Girl, but not enough. And this one, I've actually got Poison Girl on today. They smell very similar. It's just a nice juicy bowl of cherry goodness. Like it's a bit of a cherry boozy scent. And so for me, like even in the, even by April, we're just starting to get rid of our snow. So I like a bit of a boozy, warm, fruity smell. I think it's perfect. So I love this scent. Like I'm loving it more and more. It dries down to a beautiful kind of vanilla almond. Uh, but definitely kind of a boozy cherry is what I get in the opening uh, and it just it it's a really there's a bit of a tartness to it I just I just think it's beautiful so this is my April pick now for May we are finally getting into some warm weather around here and so I chose Sophia by Sophia Vergara this one I've talked about a ton as well all I'll say is I love those dark fruits. It smells berry, it smells sexy, it smells sophisticated. I find this perfume uh, mood elevating, super cheery. I just, this is basically, I love this all the time. Uh, but yeah, I decided to choose it for May. It's pink, looks like blossoms from my trees. So yeah, Sophia. Now for June, we're coming into some more warmer weather finally. All the trees, well, yeah, all the trees at this point have uh, burst forth with their green. Uh, it's getting warmer outside. And so the scent that I would choose is Coco Mademoiselle, uh, simply for the, the citrus in it. Uh, this one, oh, it's so rich and delicious. I just love Coco Mademoiselle. Uh, you get a burst of citrus in the opening. You get rose, a little bit of, I don't know, I think jasmine, a few other notes there, floral uh, in the mid, and then you have this beautiful, like there's a kind of oaky, woody smells uh, paired with vanilla in the dry down. And so I just find this one super rich, super long lasting. And the other thing that's cool is in June, uh, you know, you have your summer solstice, uh, June 20th, 20, 21st, and in my neck of the woods, I grew up in a place called Grand Prairie, Alberta, which is five hours north of Edmonton, and what I love about that time of year is that uh, on summer solstice, it would stay, it, we would, it, it would stay light until about two in the morning, then it would get dim for just a few, like maybe an hour and a half, two hours, and then it starts getting light again so it's the longest day of the year as far as sunlight is concerned so this perfume to me is perfect because it's nice bright cheery sunny but uh, it's extremely long lasting so this is my pick for June. Now for July I chose Olympia Aqua this one just has that salty a little bit beachy a uh, little bit solar, like it's not sunscreen, but the salt with jasmine and I think there's amber, vanilla, there's some citrus in the opening, so you get a bit of that juicy citrus. I think there's lemon and orange in the opening. To me, it leans a little bit more orange, uh, but to me, it's just a bright, fresh, delicious scent. And with that salt in there, I don't find it too cloying, but it smells kind of like the ocean. And I don't know about you, but in July, August, I love hitting the beach if possible. Uh, actually, we're gonna be heading to Vancouver here fairly soon, which I'm super excited about because I haven't smelled ocean air in a long time. So I will be rocking this one for sure. But for me, uh, this one is perfect, just perfect for July. This one is also really long lasting. So for August, August, especially the beginning of the month, tends to be the warmest time for us. Uh, August would be when you can hit the lakes and the lakes are nice and warm. And there is one lake. I did mention that the, 
the lakes in Alberta are more like sloughs, except for Sylvan Lake, which is about out an hour and a half away. It's pretty shallow, but the water is crystal clear. Uh, it's sandy and it's quite beautiful. So uh, we hit the lake uh, during that time of the year. It's nice and warm. And so for me, I just want something kind of watery, cheery, almost body splash-esque. And so I would do Dolce & Gabbana's uh, Trois Imperatrices. I, I'm trying to pay homage to the French, but I kind of am doing a lousy job, but I'm trying. So anyway, three Limperatrices. Uh, I love the scent. It's uh, kind of watermel watery, watermelony, uh, fruit cocktail. Uh, yeah, it, it's it's got kiwi in it. I think it may have strawberry, but all I smell is watermelon. So it's just kind of a big mouth-watering watermelon with a bit of water thrown in there, like fruit salad-y. Maybe, maybe melons in general, maybe a little bit of honeydew-ish type smell as well. Uh, but it's just nice and refreshing. It's not too cloying. Uh, it's got a bit of musk in the end, so it's a little bit sexy. Uh, not very long-lasting, but it's super refreshing, and I love it for August. Now, fall happens to be... Well, I love spring, but I love fall. I love the deepness of it. I like the cooler weather. I like when the trees, like the, the leaves, the deeper colors. Um, I love walking through, like if you walk through the woods or a forest and the leaves are kind of crunching under your feet. I just, I love that. I love wearing, I love the deeper colors. Basically, I, I love everything about fall. So, uh, the first scent that I picked is Elizabeth and James Nirvana Rose. And first of all, this to me, this bottle screams fall. It's got the red colors, you know, kind of rep red and gold rep representing the leaves. So I love the bottle, but then beyond that, the scent to me always makes me think of fall. And to me, this one has rose geranium and vetiver. And so it mixes together and it smells to me like a, a really deep dark wine with crushed fresh rose in it. That's what I get when I smell this. I don't notice the vetiver, but I'm not really sure what vetiver exactly smells like. Uh, but I definitely get that rose smell. And then paired with the other two notes, it just smells like a rose wine somehow to me. And so, you know, it just gives me that idea of, you know, decom decomposing leaves and it just gives me a whole vibe that's perfect for fall. So I love this one. This one isn't for everybody for sure. It's not super long lasting, but I just really enjoy this perfume. It's kind of cozy. Um, and yeah, I just, I think it's great. So for October, I picked another one that kind of is in uh, like, I don't know, somehow a little bit decomposing, uh, which is Lalique Amethyst. I recently talked about this when I was giving you the update on my blind buys. It was the collab with Mandy Glam. And this one, this one to me smells like a bunch of fruit with the leaves and the stems all put into a big bowl and muddled together. That's what I get from this. And, uh, you know, there's definitely that green, uh, like a green note, a woody note. This one, when it warms up, like I've worn it to bed and just the heat of my skin, it gets a little bit more fruity, a little bit more sweet. So I really like it. Uh, I like it for a bedtime scent, actually. Uh, but this one, to me, it's st in the same vein as this one. And even the colors, like look at these colors together. Like to me, this is 100% fall fall vibe as far as colors are concerned. And then, you know, this one with the rose and the wine and kind of the muddling together of those, this one with the muddling together with uh, the berries and the stems, it reminds me of leaves that are on the ground and walking on the leaves and that smell of kind of fresh but damp. I don't know, that's, uh, I don't know if that even makes sense, but for me, uh, for September and October, those two perfumes are perfect. So for November, what I have is Shaykhoff Oud by Swiss Arabian. Now this one, oh, every time I smell this one, I, I just love it. Now November 
is like getting quite cold for us. So, you know, you're gonna be want wanting to be bundled up. And to me, this amps up that warmness. So, you know, these two, they're warm, but still kind of a little bit crisp. This is just full on warm, sexy, delicious, deep scent. And so for me, in the cool, cozier months, this is amazing. Um, also, this one, uh, like it's got rose, it's got oud, it's got praline. I think there's a bit of saffron. Uh, oh, it's just so delicious and deep smelling. It's super sexy. In November up north, it starts to get quite uh, dark. So our days shrink significantly. Uh, and we have a lot longer of an evening uh, period. So to me, this is great for just snuggling up and getting cozy. Uh, it's super comforting to me. Uh, mm, it's satisfying with that praline in it. So I just love this one. I think it's gorgeous. And also just thinking from a perspective of as you head into the end of November, you're heading into a bit of Christmas party scene uh you know scenarios so to me a perfume like this is great for a night out, out on the town now the last scent that i have for you is december's and in december i automatically think of christmas and as a result the scent i've chosen is maison maison margella's replica by the fireplace and this one mm, i'm gonna just spray it So this one is just, to me, delicious. It smells, mm, it smells like a fire that's crackling, like, so the bark is caught in fire and it's crackling and you can smell that, that wood burning. And then you're roasting a marshmallow on it and let's say it kind of catches fire a little bit and you get a little bit of that black around it, but it's mainly been roasted nice and brown. And then you shove the whole thing in your mouth and chomp down so you can smell the fire, but then you're getting that marshmallowy, sweet vanilla with a bit of char. Oh, that's what this smells like. Now, for some people they would say, uh, I don't want to smell like that. I like it for a candle or a room freshener. Uh, but this isn't a scent that I would want to smell like. And I can see the point, but to me, <laughs> I love smelling this. So if I have to spray myself to smell this, I certainly will. And the other thing about this one is, although that, that fire and that kind of char smell is quite strong, um, it starts to mellow out as you wear it and you just get, you can always smell that little bit of burning wood smell but it mellows out into this creamy, kind of rich, delicious, vanillic uh, type scent that's just super smooth, super rich, and to me, super festive. It's just Christmassy to me. Like chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. So that's all I have for you today. Thank you, Barry, for tagging me. I really appreciate it. It was a lot of fun to do. Like I said, check out his channel below. And I have decided to tag three people. Now, this tag has been around for a while, so it's possible they've all done it. But I would love to hear from these three. So uh, the first one is Annalicia MM. She's fairly new here on YouTube, but she has great content. I highly encourage you check out her channel. I'll leave her linked below. Uh, the next one that I want to choose is Lene. She works, I think, a lot with Be Layered, but she's got this crazy awesome collection. So I would love to hear what she has to say. And the other one, um, I've never interacted with her at all, but her name is Frag Hag. <laughs> she is hilarious. She's an amazing artist. Uh, and as well, she's got such a quirky, fantastic personality. So Frag Hag you know who you are. Um, I would love to see uh, your picks for this. So again, no pressure. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. But if you do, I would love it. Uh, like I said, I'll leave all their channels linked below. All the information will be linked below. All these perfumes will be linked below. And I think that's it. The only other thing is feel free to check me out on Instagram. It's Maria Colette seven. I'd love to, uh, you know, hang out with you over there. And that's it. So have an amazing week. We'll talk to you soon.